So excuse the noise in the background if you can hear it, I have a machine running, but this is going to be a video on how to glass up the most basic board for your hydrofoil. Uh, so this is it. It's got about 20 strips glued together. It's flattened, it's CNC cut. These channels are nice and CNC cut at 90 millimeters. Uh, we can flip it over to the other side. So this is just the top side. Simple shape. This is the three foot board. Uh, it's going to be what I'm using for this example. So the first step is going to be, you're going to want to determine the spacing of your inserts. Now I already have these two spaced 20 millimeters from the very back edge of these slots, okay? And now I'm just going to want to decide where these are going to go. They slide, it takes some effort to slide because they're very tight fitting to keep that 90 millimeter space. Um, but let's say you're going to get it to fit the aluminum base plate. So you just slide them to fit. Of course, it's definitely a, a very smart idea to measure. So the outside to outside is 140 millimeters. So I'm just going to make sure that these inserts are exactly 140 millimeters apart. Okay, so I'm using this board for two different foils. I'm going to be using it to attach the aluminum. And then I also have the wooden surf foil that we built up in the video. I have not drilled out the holes yet, but these are spaced at 165. While these, I chose to space outside to outside are spaced at 140. So I, the aluminum one will fit on these closer ones here. And then if I wanna swap out and put on the wooden foil, it will then fit into these two. So I threw two extra inserts there. Um, that's what I'm going to be using. And so I double, quadruple checked that these are all lined up because once you epoxy them in, they're in, you, you can't change that, and you're going to want to get them close so that they line up perfectly with these holes you have here. So with those nicely spaced, I've mixed up some epoxy, and I'm just going to fill these in, being careful not to bump the board so that these inserts do not move. And then once this cures up, we're just going to give this area a quick sand and then I'm going to get on to glassing. Alrighty, so this is now cured up and now I'm just going to go over it with an orbital sander or if you just have sandpaper, you can go over it with sandpaper. I'm just going to clean it up, make sure there's no rough drops, just smooth it out. Don't want to sand too heavy into it because we want to keep this area flat. So just give it a light sand. <laughs> I just gave that a quick sand. You can see we got into most of the bubbles here. Um, so it kind of makes it hard to see things, but once we start glassing this up and we get epoxy on there, it's gonna turn completely clear again. So don't worry about that. Just sand it, get all those bubbles off the top, make sure everything's relatively smooth. And now we're just going to lay some glass out and get started. All right, so I have a layer of four ounce glass, just kind of neatly stretched over the top here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the whole board and trim it about an inch, about an inch from the bottom edge down here, so about an inch. And I'm going to go around to try and get that as neat as I can. And that's going to allow me to glass and then wrap uh, that extra hanging glass around and over to the other side to get it nice and tucked and neat like that. So this is the front corner of the board and you can see if we were to wrap this we're going to get a little bit of a crease right here so what you do is just basically come in with some scissors and give it a little snip and then that'll make that a lot easier to wrap when you go to do it so you can see I gave the whole board a trim and now I'm just gonna go to all the corners and give that little snip where it's needed uh, probably around the back too so before I do glass this thing up, I am going to put a, a second patch right here over the mounting area. 
just basically get something to cover the whole thing there. And now I'm gonna just bring this glass back in. Alrighty, so I got guys have you up on top over there. Um, so I've mixed up some epoxy and I like to just use, this is just a piece of cardboard and I like to just round the edges there. It makes an excellent, really cheap squeegee instead of buying one yourself. Um, so I'm just gonna lay down. So that's down and then just take your squeegee and start spreading this out. It's best to work kind of from the center and then work your way out to the sides. So a lot of the professional surf, surfboard guys kind of just waterfall it over the edge. I don't like to do that, it just wastes a bunch of epoxy. Um, so I'm just gonna get it right up to the edge, pretty close. And then I'm gonna carefully go around and then do the sides. Don't feel like you're in a rush. I remember first watching surfboard guys, they, they do it and they do the waterfall like that because um, they don't want the epoxy or usually they're using polyester, but they don't want that to kick off I know with this epoxy I get about 30 minutes that I can like actually work it So I'm in absolutely no rush to get these done If you're using something else that might be different or maybe I Don't know. Maybe you're way better than me at doing this. So, you know, you know better than I do It's all good. Just as long as you get the job done I'm just showing the what I think is the easiest way to do it so the way I'm going about it without having to do that waterfall is I'm just gently working some epoxy right up to the edge under kind of how you're seeing right there okay so you can see everything's kind of nice and evened out on the top here and yeah, things are mostly wrapped. Not so much here, but that's fine. Now, one thing you will tend to notice, particularly on the front and the back edge of the board, that these end grains tend to soak up epoxy pretty fast. So you might come back in like 10, 15 minutes and see that there's a little bit of a dry spot in the weave. It'll be very obvious if you see it. Um, so I have just a smudge of epoxy left in the cup that I used to do the big pour And so I will probably come back with a pair of gloves and I'll dip my finger in the epoxy and then I'll just make sure that those Dry areas where the wood is really sucking up the epoxy is recoded and resaturated with epoxy All right, so the side that we glassed up is now cured Flipping over here. You can now see some of these edges so I'm just going to go with a utility knife, trim what I can, and then I'm going to sand everything nice and smooth. So that is trimmed. You can see it wasn't the neatest job, but that's fine because we're pretty much just going to come in with a sander. Again, I'm using an orbital. If you have hand sandpaper, that's fine too. Um, but basically, you're going to come in and just sand the top deck, get all that off and remove it. All right, so everything is nice and smooth. You can still see some of this wood has a little bit of epoxy in there, but that's fine. When we glass up this top surface, that'll totally disappear. So everything's nice and smooth. Um, and I also went ahead and just used some hand sandpaper and just went around the edges. Just clean, just clean it up, smooth it out. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I mean, it, it took about two minutes. So with that being done, 
I'm ready to glass up this top side. So one quick tip, as you can see, is I'm taking some masking tape and I'm just putting it on the side we've already glassed and it's just past um, the edge here. It's not quite on the flat surface, but it's pretty much almost there. And I'm gonna go around the whole board like this. And this just makes things easier. You don't have to do this, but when you wrap that top layer of glass over, um, and then as it cures, if you come in with a blade, this will give you a very clean line to cut. And that clean line just makes it a lot easier to trim and finish the board. Because if you want, you can trim this layer, sand it, and your board can be done. You can leave it with the fabric texture. I, I find it kind of gives you some grip. You don't need wax if you leave it with this fabric texture, but um, this this just makes the cleanup process so much easier. And real quick, I am putting this logo in here. So this is just rice paper. It pretty much turns translucent once you soak it through. It just barely fits. It might be a little bit too big, so hopefully it doesn't cause any, any problems, but um, this doesn't change any process. It's just when you see it, now you know. Before we lay the glass out, Give it a bit of a trim. I already cut my corners in just to make that easy. And now, just as we did the other side, I'm gonna glass this up. Okay, so everything's looking great. Got that glass laid down, saturated. Everything's even. Our edges are nice and wrapped. So that glass is laid down nice. Everything's wet, there's no dry spots, no bubbles. It's looking great. So as this cures, I'm just going to check my edges. I'll probably come by with a gloved, uh, some fingers and just make sure that it's fully wrapped. There's no drips and that everything's nice and tight to the wood. So that's pretty much it. Uh, just let it cure and keep an eye on. All right. So I've gone around with the utility knife and just trimmed the edges. And you can see there's still... Like here there's a little bit of tape and there's just a very light edge here. Now all I'm going to do is just take that down with some sandpaper. Very lightly just take just smooth that edge down. Alright, so I just went around and sanded all the edges. You can see everything's nice and smooth to the touch. There's no sharp, nothing sharp. Everything feels good. So at this point, you can call this board done and drill out your insert holes. I'm going to do that later. Um, I've oftentimes just left boards and considered them complete at this point. You can feel the fabric weave, and I find that gives you some grip, so you don't need to wax this board to ride it. You can just grip into that weave. Um, it's not the absolute best grip, but it definitely does work. And this is just the quickest, easiest way to get it done. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint on with a brush, a basically like a clear coat. It's just a coat of epoxy that's going to go over it. And that's going to really fill in this weave pattern and really smooth everything out. And then I'm going to give it a sanded finish. Um, so then I will need to wax this board in order to get some grip. But that's what I'm going to be doing next. And so just basically to start that out is I'm just going to lightly sand this whole surface very lightly. I don't want to sand through any of this glass and expose the bare wood. But I'm just going to give it a sand top, bottom, the sides, everything. So real quick, just as we did before, I've gone around and given, put a nice edge of tape around the whole board because we don't want to put on a coat and have it come over the edge and then form drips on the underside because you'll get about a hundred of them and they're very annoying. You're going to have to sand every single one of them down and it's just no fun. So do yourself a favor and just put some tape neatly as you can and make sure you get it rubbed in so that nothing slips underneath it. 
So now I'm just going to take some epoxy and a brush and just cover this whole surface very nice. And I've, what, as we've discussed before, I've lightly sanded this just to take down any bumps, any little high spots. So it's very, it's feeling very nice. Your best friend is your hand because you can feel everything. If you can't see it, you'll be able to feel it. So just keep that in mind as you're going. Okay, I apologize in advance for the noise going on in the background, but uh, so our top coat has now cured and you can see everything's looking really great. I mean, the top side finish is fantastic. Great reflections there. Same with the bottom side. Um, and all we really have is just a very slight tape line going around the edges. So I'm just going to lightly knock that down with some high grit sandpaper. And I'm going to give this board a sanded finish. You could ride this board right now as is with the gloss finish if that's what you prefer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm going to wet sand, which pretty much just means you put a little bit of water on the board and then you take your sandpaper and you start sanding. And it'll just give it a, it'll take that shine away. Um, you know, you won't see the wood grain as well, but I, I, re I like a sanded finish. A lot of boards come with sanded finishes already and you can polish it all the way up to a thousand grit if you want. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, but we'll find out. So super simple to wet sand, right? I just have a little bit of water. Put that on, here's my sandpaper. And you just go to town. Your sandpaper will not get all gummed up. You're not making any dust. Uh, it's just, I don't know, once you kind of discover it, you're gonna be wondering why the heck you weren't doing it before. So, <laughs> um, definitely a cool thing to know. All right, so that nice sanded finish is feeling amazing. So it takes away the shine, but then it, it feels so much better. So there's one last thing we gotta do, and that is to drill out these inserts so we can get bolts in there. I'm just using a basic hand drill here. Um, you don't need anything fancy, and you wanna center it up the best you can, and lightly and slowly, Work your way down into it. So you'll know when you hit the, the top of the insert because you'll be you'll feel the drill on the metal. Um, obviously you don't want to go drilling into your insert. And that one looks good. Sometimes the plastic cap too, you have to kind of go in there with some needles or some needle nose pliers just to rip that thing out. Um, So if you saw there, I did get a little bit of metal from the top of the insert, and a little bit is okay, um, just as long as you don't go into those threads, obviously. All right, well, that is it. All the inserts are drilled out, and we can now just take our foil base plate, line it up, and then bolt it right on. We're ready to go. So that's, the, that's pretty much how you do it, uh, very easy. Very satisfying build.